Watch your fingers, you're gonna get cut. I'm, I know what I'm doing. Crumbly cheese. Why is it so crumbly? So set the cheese aside. Now we're gonna make, nope, no. not on the ground. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, I need it. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. That smells incredible. Wow. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today, we're gonna be making the viral mac and cheese recipe from TikTok. Basically, I found this recipe on TikTok from Chef Teeny. If you don't know who Teeny is, Teeny makes a bunch of food on TikTok and I found this recipe that has 112.9 million views and it's mac and cheese. So we're gonna try making this a specific mac and cheese. Yes. See if it's good, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned till the end to see if we succeed or not and see if this is actually really good. I assume it's gonna be good based off yeah. the amount of views that happens. Well, and also I think the reason I've been wanting to make this is cause it's like, let's put it to the test. This is very surprising for me because Nessa is not really a mac and cheese fan and this was all her idea. I know it is a bit odd because <laughs> I don't ever choose mac and cheese and specifically when I found that video it was like for the holiday season like making mac and cheese I had this like vision of myself coming to my family's Christmas with a baked mac and cheese and everyone saying wow but now I'm just like let's just let's just make it together I think it'll be fun and see if it actually is good mac and cheese is also one of my favorite foods too and I made picky about what I consider a good mac and cheese. So we are gonna put this to the test and, and see. there is a lot of dairy in this, so maybe take some lactate or something. You know okay. what? I don't take lactate, even if I know it's gonna upset my stomach. Why try to prevent the inevitable? <laughs> Sorry, it Teeny says in the video to go ahead and just start your pasta, so I just started. Don't show the pasta. There is much controversy over pasta on our channel, okay? The water's boiling and and there's salt in there. No oil though. No oil. Let's not dwell on that, okay. Okay, so what's next? So then we have to shred our cheese and we have three different cheeses. We have a pound of mozzarella, okay. a pound of pasta, a pound of Colby, Colby Jack. Jack. Half a pound or eight ounces of sharp half cheddar. Oh, half a pound of sharp cheddar, oops. Okay. Okay, all right, let's okay. get to it. Oh, we, half and half, oops. We need another bowl. Should I just go ahead and do this? Yeah, start, sh start shredding the cheese. Um, part of me feels like I need to cut it. Cut it. <laughs> cut the cheese. Do people say that? Do people know that's what that means anymore? Cutting the cheese? Yeah, I of mean, uh, obviously we know, but like, does like Gen Alpha know that? Getting all that mozzarella up in there. Shred oh my the gosh. Cheese. How long does this take to shred this well, cheese? Well, look at my cheese. That looks awesome. Yeah, I like had this like dream that I would like be married and come to all the family holidays with like awesome recipes and everyone would be like, wow, Vanessa's like such an amazing cook. But here we are. I'm also hoping that this changes your mind about mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. No, that this just makes me like this recipe of mac and cheese. It's it's not about, like when it's homemade mac and cheese and someone puts a lot of like time and effort into making it, sometimes it's just so much better than like Kraft mac and cheese. I don't know, I love my Kraft mac and cheese. Very satisfying. Get in there. Ooh, look at that. We like it al dente. Half of the cheddar cheese. I'll start working on the full block. Imagine making this every year. They do this every year. <laughs> Anyone know what I'm talking about? Ice age. Oh, silence phones on set. Are we... Oh, I'm getting it's a call. It's your timer, Nessa. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's Chef Teeny. Ronnie's doing it wrong. It's okay, I'll let her know. All right, the pasta is done. Steam is really hot. Are you a fan of Colby Jack, Nessa? Do you like Colby Jack cheese? I don't think I can. I don't think so. All right. Watch your fingers, you're gonna get cut. I'm, I know what I'm doing. Listen, you're flipping it straight in the air. <laughs> This is very like crumbly cheese. Why is it so crumbly? Because it's Colby Jack. It's a combination of two cheeses. Oh, Colby, Colby and Jack cheese? Yep. Colby Jack done. Very cool. Half a pound or eight ounces of sugar. 
I just washed my hands. So you have to mix it all together and then split it in half. Oh my gosh, I love cheese. Why was I cursed with lactose intolerance? Cheese lover's dream. So now split it in half and put half of it in that bowl. Thank you, sous chef. No, I'm the sous chef. So set the cheese aside. Now we're gonna make, nope, no. not on the ground. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna make our seasoning. We need salt and pepper. The chef Tani doesn't tell us any measurements. Any measurements for salt and for any of these seasonings you think it's on in the this comments? comments? It was not in the comments of the video. Let me just double check to make sure. So I'll do some salt and pepper. Maybe a little more salt? No. No. Because there's already soda, sodium in this. Okay, a little, little bit, bit of garlic powder, powder and some smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is so good. I use it in my chili. I use it in my potatoes. There you Did go. Did you put enough garlic in there? Let's add a little bit of garlic to add a little more. I love garlic. Yeah, just a little more. Do a, a dash. A dash. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we've got some pretty garlicky seasoning. All right, okay, okay. So now we gotta go to the stove. In a pan, three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna make our roux. A roux, I'm good at a roux. Have What's you ever a made a roux before? Is that like a sauce? No, it's like when the thickening of a oh, flour. Oh, yeah, 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 I've yeah. Okay, 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 so we're making that. roux. When the butter's melted, add half your seasoning. Okay, okay. then half, half Oh, there we the go. Seasoning. There, and then what? That's what it looks like. Half of the seasoning, oh, keep playing. Three tablespoons of flour. Three Ooh, tablespoons of okay. flour. So I'm gonna do one, two, two three. three. And I need. Okay, let me just. We need the seasoning. Half of the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Making a roux. Okay, let me know when all of that is melted. A roux. Can I just go ahead and do the next step, or is it all melted? Pretty much. Oh yeah, it's half the seasoning. Okay, three tablespoons of flour. We got one, two. Three, mix that all up. Ooh, one can of evaporated milk. All right, leave this job to me. Then? I'm gonna add two cups of heavy cream. Two cups of heavy cream. Okay, I got Is all the flour. Is it getting out. thick? Yeah, it's getting there. We just gotta let it, okay, we gotta let it thicken up. Mmm, that smells pretty good. Okay, I say we add the, the milk. Or it's not milk, it's the uh, heavy whipping cream. Heavy, heavy cream. Okay, you got this, Ronnie. Should I go ahead and add the rest of the seasoning? Sure, dump it, dump it. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard! Is it supposed to get like super thick? I think I need to let it like kind of cook a little bit. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That's not a full tablespoon. I don't wanna hear anyone in the comments saying. Don't wanna hear anyone in the comments saying? No. Ew. We don't want that. Teeny saying, do not comment, ew. All right, so we add the mustard in there. Now she's gonna let it thicken up a little bit more before we add the cheese. That smells really good. We're gonna let that thicken up before we add our cheese. And we just add little bits of cheese at a time. I think I might have to take this home tonight. No. All of it. No. Let's see if you even like it, miss. I, I hate mac and cheese. Okay, what do you think? Is it thicker? Um, It's thicker than before, but. Uh, oh, it looks like it's getting thicker. I see it thickening up. I say we add our cheese a little bit at a time and let it melt every time we add cheese. For me, this is like a perfectionist's dream, making sure it's perfect. Oh my gosh. This is looking incredible. If you don't got the sauce, then you're lost. Or you can get lost in the sauce. This is really fun. I'm glad we're doing this together. You keep bossing me around. What? Yeah, she is. I've been paying attention, but I'm just saying. You guys always say I'm the bossy one, but we can both be bossy, just saying. What have I said to, in this video? I haven't done anything. You've, all you have done is ridiculed me for not liking mac and cheese. Ooh, look at it. It's starting to do that thing that she did in her video. That's really embarrassing of me. We're almost done. Almost done with this cheese melting part. Then we add the pasta, and then we put it all in this little thing. I'm getting the next steps ready. Hold on, hold on, I need it. Oh my gosh, okay, add the pasta. Okay, I'm putting this in. Hold on, oh, okay. Just start stirring it. So I get all that cheese off in there. Listen to this. That's the sound it's supposed to make when it's all in there, okay? It's like 
that noise. <laughs> so you do a layer of the mac and cheese, then you put more shredded cheese on top, then another layer of the mac and cheese, and more shredded cheese on top. Mmm. Smells so good. That smells amazing. That smells incredible. It is a bit garlicky because we put in a lot of garlic. So, oh, but garlic is amazing. Yeah, we love garlic. So. Comment down below what other viral food recipes we should try making. Because Ronnie and I love making food. We love trying new recipes, making new food. So let us know if there's other recipes you'd like us to attempt to make. Hold on, let me see if it makes that noise. Nessa. Nessa. Did it get on you? No. Oh. Not my new jeans. Okay. All right. So now we make a layer and then layer it with cheese. She just took the spoon and did like a layer. So that's the first layer. You add the cheese. Wow. Yum, yeah. yum, yum. Talk about upset stomach later. All right, no. okay. So then cheese and now one more layer. I don't know if our thing is tall enough, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we do the rest of the cheese. I'm tempted. Don't eat it yet. I didn't. I didn't eat it. And then we bake that. Yeah, then we bake it at 350 for 25 minutes to 30 Yum. minutes. That looks awesome. There we go. Do you like the smell of that? Yeah, I mean, it smells good. Putting it in the oven. And now it's gonna bake for 30 minutes. As it bakes, we are going to clean up the kitchen and clean up the mess we made. So after 30 minutes and we broil it for two minutes, then we cut up little little chives that goes on top. Perfect. All right, let's clean. 30 minutes has gone by, so now we're gonna broil it for two minutes. Should we chop up the chives? No, we cut the chives over. We let's watch the rest of the video oh, real quick. Cut here, them? yes. Oh. Here, 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 come here, come here. I want it to have a crust, but it looks like ours is a little too saucy. We'll see. Then you add chives. Can I, oh, I guess you can chop it, yes. You think that's enough? Yeah. I think that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna let it broil just a little bit more. Like another minute. Like another two minutes. Ooh. Let's just wait, let's just this wait. This is so exciting though. Okay, okay, Ronnie's going to take it out, but I think our mac and cheese is done. Whoa. Yay. It is like boiling hot, so be careful, Ronnie. Wow. Okay, so we're just gonna let that Dang. cool down. It's kind of boiling still, so I think we need to just let it cool down for a second. Dang. That is some mac and cheese. I roll it for like max two minutes just to get that nice little crust. Crust, crust. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, Here, wait. you do it, do it with this. Our sounds like that. All right. Dang. We did it, we did it. The chives are chopped. That smells really cheesy. I want to say does. like it's really giving like lasagna. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put some chives on top. Oops. I think that's a little too much, but that more smells chives? good. You know what they look like? They look like sprinkles. They kind of do look like sprinkles. Dang. I, I need to take a picture that. too. That looks like gourmet mac and cheese. I know. Wow. Okay, here we go. Ready? <gasps> Okay, we'll just do little spoonfuls, okay? Oh, that looks incredible. This looks so good. Here we go. So my first thoughts, looking at it, very cheesy, has a great smell. The crust looks incredible. Do you wanna go first? You can go first. You hate it. No, I don't. Oh, well you didn't say, mm immediately or anything. That's pretty good. That's pretty good? That's good mac and cheese. Yeah, it's really good. Ready? Oh yeah. It's really good. That's a good mac and cheese recipe. Wow. We did that. It's really well, good. I guess Teeny did that, but, but we, we did it. Followed instructions so good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Now we need our judge to try. We've got our judge, Paul Merrill. 
Oh my gosh. It's really good. That's that so is delicious. Good. Nessa, are you going to make this every holiday? Mm. We're going to make this. Who's we? Me and you. No! I'll make it with you, Nessa. Dang, it's so good. Dare I say, it's delightful. Our mom just tried it and she said, I don't even like mac and cheese and that is really good. All right, you guys. Well, 10 out of 10. The test was, are cooking influencers recipes actually good? And I would like to say that 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10. Chef Teeny's mac and cheese that is like super viral, 112 so million views, is definitely worth it and so good. Oh, I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. I don't think I've ever had mac and cheese like that. Let us know if there's any other viral recipes you'd like to see us try to make and let you know if it's Ooh. worth it or not. This is worth it. Definitely worth it. And, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel by clicking this button over here. We also live stream every single week. You can subscribe to our live channel by clicking this button over here. Check out some of the other videos we've done and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.